Good morning, my name is Monique Malia and I am the coordinator for the Student International Exchange Programme. Students who apply now may have the opportunity to study abroad during academic year 2021-2022. During this short presentation, I will be giving a short introduction. I will explain the application process, further preparation, the selection process, timeline and withdrawal and resets. First, I will introduce uh, the program and the website of the outgoing international exchanges and our UN partners. In the website, the partners are grouped according to the country. Uh, there are universities in Australia, Canada, China, Japan, the United States, and then there are the partner networks. It is important to note that universities in China and Japan may offer a limited number of courses in English, which may not be enough for your program of studies. Um, then there are the universities in the United States and the networks. There are three networks. There is the Australian European Network, which is a small network of Australian universities. There is the Mid-American Universities International and the largest network, which is the International Student Exchange Program, ISEP. One important thing is that um, when you fill in the application form, one of the, section, one of the sections, you have to input your preferences. You need to input three preferences. Uh, now, if you browse uh, the networks, for instance, there is a university which interests you in the Australian European network or in the ISEP program, in your application form, you do not uh, you do not input the name of the specific university, but you input the network. So you will select ISEP or the Australian European Network. In this uh, slide, you can see the universities which form part of the ISEP network and that to which University of Malta students can apply. It is a program which offers uh, opportunities for students worldwide. Um, it is important to check the language of instruction at the foreign universities, especially through ISEP. Uh, the reason being is that, for instance, uh, universities in South America offer classes in Spanish. Uh, now I will go through the application process, how to apply, and first we'll go through the eligibility criteria. First of all, uh, the International Exchange Program is open to University of Malta students registered for a full-time undergraduate degree program, level six. Applicants might, must be 18 years of age by the start of their exchange period and applications from students reading for their final year during academic year 2020-21, this academic year cannot be considered the reason being is that next year you will no longer be registered student at the University of Malta. Uh, we will now go through the documents which you need to submit. Uh, the, the application form has to be submitted by 7th December on Monday. The application form is a Google form which you need to fill in and also upload some documents. You need to upload the following documents. First, you need to upload a small passport sized photo. Then you need to upload your results, your certificates. If you are a first year student, you need to upload a copy of the MedSec certificate or results, or the MedSec final result certificate, or your certificate or results in foundation studies. If you are a mature student or an international student, you need to hand in the certificates which you submitted for admission at the University of Malta. If you are in your second year or onwards, you need to submit an unofficial transcript downloadable from your eSIMS account. Another very important document is the authorization form. The authorization form can be downloaded from the website and it has to be signed by the Dean or the Director and the Head of Department or Heads of Department of your faculty. 
The authorization form is an indication that you are given permission by the dean, director, and the head of department to participate in the exchange program should you be selected. Applications without the authorization form will not be considered. Uh, this is uh, some preparation which you need to do before submitting your application. First of all, you need to obtain the program of studies for academic year 2021-2022. This can be found on the University of Malta website. Then you need to browse the institution's website, foreign institution's website, um, for universities to, to see if they offer study units which are relevant for your course at the University of Malta. Um, in this case, um, you don't have to print, but it is important that you send an email um, and seek academic advice from your faculty regarding your preferred institutions or networks. Only once you sought academic advice, you can proceed to submit the authorization form to the heads of department and to the dean's office for signatures. Then upload the authorization form in the application form and you can continue the application process. Further preparation, which you need to do before submitting your application. First, uh, research information about the country which you are interested in, as well as the institution. You need to check the expenses involved. This is extremely important. Um, the University of Malta gives students one-time grants, which will help you to pay some of the expenses, but not all. It is important that you make sure that you can cover the expenses before submitting the application. So for all the programs, students are exempted from paying tuition fees. The only exception is the ISEP network, uh, which offers a, a more a comprehensive package because you are exempted from paying accommodation and also you have a meal plan which is quite comprehensive um, for students. So the University of Malta gives students a one-time grant um, for all the partners, including the universities and the networks, the grant is a 2,000 euro grant, a one-time grant. It will not cover all your expenses. The only exception is ISEP. Since students who select ISEP as their first preference are exempted from paying tuition, accommodation, and also meals, the grant is less. It is a 500 euro grant. And this is a timeline. So first, 7 December is the closing date for applications. In January, students are notified whether they have been selected, placed on a reserve list or not selected. In February, the selected students will start the application process with the foreign universities or networks. The deadlines will vary. Um, then in May, students will send in their learning agreement and program of studies. Um, students who have question about the learning agreement and program of studies can send me an email. However, at this stage, it is important that you make sure that you follow all the steps for the internal application with the University of Malta. Students will be informed by the end of January whether they were selected, placed on a reserve list or not selected. Now, if you decide to proceed on an exchange, you will be nominated at your first preference. You need to include three preferences. First, we nominate, nominate you at your first preference. Finally, it is the host institution which determines whether you will be accepted to participate in the exchange. So you need to receive an acceptance letter from the host institution. This will take place later on, probably around May and, and June. Withdrawal and resets. If you are selected but do not intend to proceed with the exchange, inform me as soon as possible. Students who apply and withdraw at a later stage might be taking the place of other successful applicants. And then these students might not be in time to apply due to deadlines at the foreign institutions. 
it is very important that you pass all your exams. If you study abroad during semester one, you will be leaving before September supplementary session. So it will not be possible for you to reset your exams. We look forward to receiving your application. If you have any difficult, please do not hesitate to send me an email to contact me at monique.malia at um.edu.mt. Thank you very much for your attention and good luck.